My dear, I hope you are having a good day. I know that you are looking forward to the fourth step of our challenge. So, you have successfully completed three steps. It was difficult for some of you. Others may have found it easy. But you all did a great job. You have made three big steps in your life to meet the real you, the number one. I know that many of you have guessed what the next step will be. You have already written to me about this step. So, the fourth step is generosity. I can imagine you are now thinking about the things you can be generous with. Usually, when people use this word, they think that generosity is material, give money or give some other material things that you can touch with your hands. Dear, the greatest generosity is the generosity of our heart. This is the generosity of our soul. This is something that you cannot touch. How can you touch or evaluate love? It is impossible. How can you evaluate friendliness or a smile? It is impossible to weigh it in kilograms. It is impossible to measure such things in any units. Today we will show generosity. Let us think about the things we can be generous about. First of all, it is a good mood. If you share your good mood, that's great generosity. A smile is another kind of generosity. It is a support. When a person gives up, tell them, everything will work out. You can do it all. You'll achieve your goal. And this, too, is generosity. When you come up to someone, hug them and say, you know, God loves you so much. You will be able to achieve everything in your life. This is also generosity. Generosity is to feed a person who is in a difficult situation. To feed a homeless animal. Supporting someone is also generosity. Do not limit yourself in your generosity. To share knowledge is the highest level of generosity on earth. Because only a few people have it. And now, we shamans, with great generosity share with you this knowledge which has not been discovered in tens of thousands of years. Now, in such a difficult time, during the transition from one epoch to another, the spirits allowed us to share our sacred knowledge generously, to tell you about our amulets of power, to tell you about those rituals that change the fate of a man, to tell you about the cosmic laws. And we share it with great generosity in the books of our partners. These are books such as Siberian Shamanism and After Death. You can find a link to these books in the description under this video. We describe and share with you the sacral secrets of healing, the secrets of female wisdom in the articles on our website. We record video sessions especially for you. Watching these videos, any woman can fill with energy, even without leaving her home. And this is our generosity to you. You can also share this knowledge generously. Send someone a link to a video session. Send a link to a book. Send a link to an online training session. And it will be the best generosity of your soul. Perhaps you will say, my God, I want to cook a generous dish for my family, and put a lot of my magical generosity, my love, and my kindness into it. And you cook it generously, too. You invite your whole family, gather them and say, I love you so much. I cherish you so much. Show your generosity, show your love. Show kindness. And let this be our fourth step to improve this world. To change the fate of your lineage. Wait for the fifth and final step of our challenge. See you later, my loved ones. If you find it difficult to immediately give up attachments and bad habits that create problems, 
you need a talisman and a special ceremony that will be held by a shaman at our seminar. Also, we invite you to visit the group and bring new women to the classes.